welcome back to school of civil engineering this is the with another new video in our previous video i have just uh, discussed about that how we'll open a new model in cssf how we'll define our materials properties and also how we'll define defense slab beam footing and also mat mat foundation properties so in this lecture i'm just going to um, define about column properties and reinforcement properties also i mean uh, reinforcement bar selecting process i'm just going to show you that so if you're new to our channel and also if you're new here you can watch our previous video that link are given in description with full playlist and also subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon and also if you're a civil engineer then must press the bell icon and also subscribe us so first of all i'll just click here define okay so after click define clicking define click here reinforcing bar size okay reinforcing bar size so i'll just simply click here so actually you you are seeing that here our bar size is only in us process okay i mean in, it is in us unit and also it is giving us bar area bar diameter this is the two this is the three this is number four so here our bar diameter now add the common bar set so from here this is the bar set for us this is for us okay and here if i click here si and add bar set just see here here also this uh, num bar number with uh, us and also this is bar number with si both are available here okay so uh, in matrix and us both are available here so in this in that way you can select your bar size so first of all i will just i will always use that versus in millimeter cause that is available at market at now that's why i will use that first of all i will clear wall so here we have clear wall versus and there are many verses Australian click here this is the Australian verses 12 16 20 24 just like that this is the Australian verses after that clear you can use US soft matrix at so here is the US soft matrix verses okay this is the soft matrix 10 to 57 after that again clear then from here uh, Canadian add set so this is the Canadian versus actually Canadian and Australian are almost same so I'll just clear that after that US card mm, customary you know about that I will use SI unit then add okay this is our SI versus right so click here okay detailing currently available they will delete if okay so uh, as i have not detailed till now so i'll just press yes so it's done so we have successfully defined our uh, bar bar properties i mean which types of bar will use actually i have select millimeter because in market it's now uh, available the bar size in millimeter and also the uh, worker and also engineer know about the verses in millimeter very well then bar number number three four five like that okay so after the define and uh, reinforcing verses we have provided now we'll go for column properties so here it's given him column one actually i'm uh, defining column properties uh, when we'll design a slab then it will be required okay now so from here I'll just uh, sorry I'll click and add new properties so from here the column CUL column it's uh, 12 into 12 12 into 12 says column I will use okay so after that uh, I'll just giving here parallel uh, parallel to two axis parallel to three axis so after that uh, from here we'll just select our materials properties fc prime 
to 800 psi after that we'll go ahead and select our column shape shape what is the column shape actually this is the column uh, section di dimension so from here we'll select column shape okay so for column shape they have rectangular circular t shaped l shape and general i will select rectangular and from here i will just give here 12 into 12 size column okay now after that uh, include automatic rigid zone area over the column no i will not give anything here so uh, also you can give a show properties so this is the properties actually and uh, also include automatic drop panel over the column so if you want to uh, use a drop panel just simply you have to click here and you have to give the drop panel size and uh, previously you have to define the drop panel parameters and also so from here just you have to slap uh, properties actually um, we do not define any drop panel uh, for that uh, it's not showing here and when you will define drop panel and also i will uh, show that how will define drop panel in another video so i'll just not uh, click here okay also uh, automatic column uh, capital drop panel dimensions so you can also click here okay so i'll just not give here any drop panel actually so simply press ok then i'll delete that okay this is our column properties so this also done now uh, after defining our column properties we'll just go again and define then uh, we'll go here column properties and then um, soil subgrade properties actually uh, i will define soil subgrade properties in another video and i will make a single video for it and uh, so uh, it's done actually for today and uh, in our next video i'll just show that how we'll uh, actually define our subsoil properties and this is most important actually our uh, soil subgrade properties and this is uh, a, this is a important uh, part of part of uh, foundation so we'll define uh, soil uh, subgrade properties in our next video so thank you thank you very much s still stay connected till next video and if you think that that's helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so thank you thank you very much